Hey, it's Mike Slatton for Keeper Bomb. I've got a worst case scenario for you. I took these gloves right off of the goalkeeper from my son's training and uh, I told him I was going to go home, clean them up and condition them with Keeper Bomb and bring them back better than new uh, for their game on Saturday. It's actually Thursday night, so I got two days. I'm going to wash them, dry them, uh, condition them with Keeper Bomb and then deliver them on Saturday. I just wanted to show you what I'm starting with. As you can see, these gloves are a little worn right here on the palm. Um, they're filthy, they're still wet, and uh, it was pretty moist out there tonight. I'm not sure how often he washes them. You know, like most kids, he probably doesn't wash them much. It doesn't wash them much at all. Um, I would say that this is probably Giga Grip Latex, maybe three millimeter. So, um, but I I'm gonna make these better than new, and I just wanted to, um, bring you along while I do this and yeah I, I do kind of uh, wash and condition my goalkeepers gloves on a regular basis because most of them don't do a very good job and I'm kind of obsessed with it so yeah all right so I got my filthy gloves here in the sink I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run some um, warm water in the sink and fill the gloves or fill the fill the sink up with water and immerse the gloves in the water. You know, they kind of stink too. That's another video though. I, I, I put it on the FAQs of the KeeperBomb.com website in how to get the stink out of gloves. It's actually a simple process, but I may have to do a, another one of those videos soon if I get any more of these gloves, because these things are pretty gross smelling. Now these gloves have a little bit of grip. I mean, you can actually see how, you know, they're, it's not, they're not in bad shape, unless they're really dirty. And these are bad gloves. Um, you know, I've never conditioned these gloves before. This is the first time I've ever had these gloves. But the grip isn't that bad once the dirt's all off. I'm going to drain out the water because it's so disgusting and kind of start with a new batch. I'm like sand in here. Now personally I always use um, BioClean laundry liquid. I feel like it's the uh, the mildest kind of detergent there is for cleaning any kind of uh, clothes. Um, doesn't have any uh, no phosphates, um, chlorine, ammonia, petroleum solvents, butyl, glycer, ether, uh, or a bunch of other junk. So um, it's actually free and clear of dyes and fragrances. Free and clear. I usually just take a little bit of this, put it on my sponge. Oh, there's my sponge. There we go, right here. Okay, there we go. Put a little bit on my sponge. That's kind of a lot, but it's a gist. Oh man, soap and water does a lot for your uh, for your gloves. Now the fingertips are pretty worn on these, but it almost doesn't matter. As long as the palms are good, you can condition this area. And this makes a big difference because the palms are usually where you do the bulk of your catching. Whenever you're playing goalkeeper, you really want to catch with your palms and let your fingers wrap around. So um, usually the fingers and the palms are all damaged because of just from getting up off the ground. I've watched this keeper play. He puts his palms down a lot. And honestly, it looks like he gets up with his um, right hand a lot more than when he gets up with his left hand because there is some damage here, but no damage to the fingertips on this glove. Or very little. I'm using the scrubber on the backhand because this is, um, you know, I wouldn't even call it, like Pakistani latex is kind of like a hard plastic. But I would almost not even call this Pakistani latex. I would just call this straight up plastic. And 
see that water still really dirty even after I rinsed out or drained out the first batch now I never ring all I do is just squeeze Alright, so I had the pre-rinse, then the wash, and I'll do the final rinse. Usually that's enough for gloves that you wash um, on a regular basis, but since these don't get washed all the time, <sighs> I'm going to do one more final rinse. Now, if you, if you pre-wash your or if you pre-condition your gloves, then they'll never get this dirty. Because if you put the Keeper Balm on before, it'll actually repel the, most, the bulk of this dirt, and you won't get this kind of uh, staining. I train in the same, con you know, the same conditions that these gloves were in and it's just dirt so um, my gloves end up getting just as dirty but when I clean them they still look almost new because of the um, the, the fact that they're preconditioned to repel all the dirt alright so that water looks pretty good that doesn't look horrible All right, so now I'm gonna let them drain a little bit. I'm literally just gonna put them here in the drainer or in the strainer and, um, yep, in the strainer with the Tupperware and uh, let them, uh, let the water drain for about, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And um, then I'll wring out the, the, the cuff one last time before I put it in front of the fan. Okay, so this is my normal glove drying station, and uh, what I've got here is a bunch of old gloves. It's also kind of my glove storage station, so it's the glove drying slash glove storage. What I've got is my fan here, and usually I point it at whatever is sitting there and let it dry. It's a nice little area that kind of catches all the air flow. So I've got my own gloves, which uh, have been treated with Keeper Balm and um, I use them often. Uh, I got another pair of gloves that have been treated. These, these are one of uh, actually the team I coach. These are my goalkeeper's gloves and uh, they're kind of beat up but still pretty clean. And uh, I, I just treated them and now they're all dry and uh, I'm gonna put them in their bag and get them ready for Saturday. And this is the way I normally do the drying. I actually put the gloves on two, two glasses. These are actually pretty slender, pretty slim glasses. All right, and then I uh, turn on the fan and uh, I'll let them sit overnight. Then in the morning, I'll go ahead and um, treat them with keeper bomb okay it's next morning and as you can see the gloves are a little um the, the coloring's a little different they're a little bit lighter than when we started also you can't hear it because i forgot to turn on the microphone so i'm actually doing a voiceover clip um the gloves themselves are not as grippy as they were last night they're a little bit um smoother softer uh which necessitates the keeper bomb to to restore the grip again i want to reiterate the um the, the damage to the palm and the thumbs and the fingers and what i've got is a spray that i've been working on that kind of has the same ingredients I, I hit some roadblocks before but i've actually had some success just recently um because it, you know I'm, I'm no quitter so uh uh, I'm actually going to spray these areas first because the balm, 
can be a little um, when you, when you uh, apply it, the balm can be a, a little grippy. Okay, and so um, I found that on some gloves that are really wrecked, the uh, uh, it can kind of grab in this area. These gloves aren't as bad, but still, just for the for the sake of uh, argument, I'm going to go ahead and um, spray on these areas and then uh, apply the balm to the other areas. Now, the, the balm has more waxes in it so uh, that, that adhere to the latex pretty well, whereas the spray is less wax, more oils, but, but still very good conditioning. It'll actually help strengthen the, um, the, 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 the torn parts of the, of the glove and um, uh, you know just make the gloves last longer and perform better. The, these gloves were wrecked because the, the same place that these gloves came from, these gloves came from, same exact feel, same exact conditions. The, this was just the night before, and this was the night after, but um, these, these gloves were, were um, filthy, but conditioning them before you ever use them keeps, them from, keeps the dirt from actually getting into uh, the latex like it is here. Once the dirt gets into the latex, you can't get it out. But if you'll condition the gloves before, then you won't have that problem. These gloves are the same. Um, you know, I've had these gloves. These are my training gloves. But I'll jump in the goal um, with the kids. And, um, you know, these gloves were, were you know, all, all three of these gloves were just as bad last night uh, or um, a couple of days ago as these were last night. And, um, but by conditioning them before ever using them, it keeps the dirt from getting in there. And um, these are all, I just conditioned these the other day, so they're, they're nice and soft. They're not quite as grippy as they'll be in a couple of days once everybody, everything gets in there, soaks in. But, uh. So spray first, and you know, the, the, the spray will be available online in uh, a couple of weeks. I, you know, I'm gonna have to get bottles. I'm gonna have to make sure of the formula. So I'm going to say a couple months just to be sure, because I want to make sure that I get this right. Uh, you know, I, I tested Keeper Balm. This is the new label, by the way. You know, the other one's kind of orange. And um, this is kind of the opposite of that orange color. But um, so this is something that's not so cartoonish. And because I got some feedback and some people just didn't like the label. So the only product out there. Is <laughs> so it almost doesn't matter about the label. All right. So after I've sprayed it, I go ahead and I'll apply the keeper balm on the palms and um, you know you can see it kind of pulls a little bit uh, I, I've sent this to um, you know uh, bigger companies that sell uh, goalkeeper materials and um, accessories and products uh, and you know they didn't like the fact that the balm was kind of grippy and they said that uh, it wasn't as as good as some spray products out there and that you know we, we all know the other spray product um, but I think they missed the whole point it's not about it is about enhanced grip but it's also about longevity and making your gloves last 10 times longer 20 times longer 30 times longer than they would without conditioning and performing at a high level it's not just enough to have some gloves that look good but you want them to function well as well so um, the keeper balm soaks right in it's highly permeable and it enhances the grip to make the grip better than new in two days you'll be able to palm the ball with these gloves Whereas I'm sure the guy has probably, the kid has probably never palmed the ball, been able to palm the ball with these gloves. All right, so I sprayed there. And it's not a quick fix. It's not immediate. It's not an immediate fix. You got to kind of let this stuff soak in. So it's best well, as soon as you get your gloves, pull them out of the package and um, apply Keeper Balm. Now, if you've got Giga Grip gloves, basically they don't have the plastic on them you're going to uh probably want to rinse them and dry them just to because there's a little a fine little powder on them that um uh will kind of adhere to the balm <laughs> you know so it's like you're, you're you're applying but you're not really getting it on there and you'll feel but then if, if you rinse the the fine powder off and let them dry and then apply the balm you'll have a lot better 
results. Now usually uh, with brand new gloves I will apply two or three times over the course of two or three days just for maximum coverage make sure it gets all soaked in and um, then not only will they always perform like new they'll always look like new after you wash them because the dirt sits on top of the protective layer but the uh, the grip quality is better than new I get a little obsessive I like getting the fingertips and by spraying first with my um, with my uh, the new spray I'm developing it, it actually the, the, the balm doesn't really stick to the uh, the latex in those sprayed areas but it'll all soak right in and um, you know we'll check it out and we'll check it out in about 12 hours see if I can palm the ball with this glove I don't even know if I can put this glove on it doesn't look too small he's uh he's a 14 year old no that's not bad that feels pretty good probably palm the ball right now Size 10. That's not bad. All right, we'll check back in. Um, we'll check back in a couple hours, and we'll see if I can palm the ball. So you can see the rather used again. You know, there's some abrasions on the palms, on the fingertips, but um, you know, with some keeper bomb, the grip is fantastic. Both gloves. So keeper bomb. It'll change your game. For peace of mind